Why did Samsung suddenly stop the One UI 7 update after finally releasing it? It looks like Galaxy users will have to wait a little longer. After months of delays, Samsung finally began rolling out the Android 15 Base One UI 7 update for its flagship phones. But now, the company has officially paused the update for the Galaxy S24, Galaxy Z Fold 6, and Galaxy Z Flip 6, and that's left users confused and frustrated. Samsung confirmed the suspension in a statement to Android Authority. They didn't go into full detail, but they did say that a new release schedule will be announced soon. In other words, the update is on hold and no one knows exactly when it will start again. So, what went wrong? According to well-known tipster Ice Universe, the issue started with a bug that affected the lock screen. Some users reported that the lock screen looked completely messed up. It was either squished, stretched, or just broken to the point where it was almost impossible to use. And that's not something you can just ignore. If users can't even unlock their phones properly, the update clearly wasn't ready. The bug was first noticed on the Galaxy S24 series, but it could also be affecting other models like the Galaxy Z Fold 6 and Galaxy Z Flip 6. And since all of them had just started receiving the update, Samsung likely decided to pull the plug for now before more users were affected. But that's only part of the story. Some users have reported other small bugs across the system. Plus, there are whispers about a possible security flaw in Samsung's secure folder, which is supposed to protect your private files and apps. That's still not confirmed, but even a hint of a security issue could be enough to delay the entire rollout. Samsung is staying pretty quiet about the full reason behind the pause. They've only said that they're updating the release plan to make sure users get the best experience possible. That sounds like PR speak for we're fixing a big mess behind the scenes. The strange part is how fast this all happened. Just days ago, Samsung had finally started sending out One UI 7 after months of delays. Galaxy S24 owners, who had been waiting for a major upgrade, were excited to finally get their hands on it. And then, just like that, it stopped. So what happens next? The update will return, that much is clear. Samsung is not canceling it, just putting it on hold. When that happens, it's still a mystery. It could be in a few days or maybe next week. Until then, users who didn't get the update yet will have to keep waiting. And even those who already installed it might need to update again when Samsung rolls out a fixed version. It's also unclear how this will affect other Galaxy models that were supposed to get the update soon. Phones like the Galaxy S23 series or older foldables might now have a delayed release schedule. We'll have to wait for Samsung's new rollout plan to be sure. This situation is just another example of how software updates aren't always smooth, even for a company as big as Samsung. Rushing to release something before it's fully tested can backfire quickly, especially when users start noticing bugs right away. Let's just hope Samsung sorts it out fast because Galaxy users have been patient long enough. If you want to stay updated on Samsung's next moves and all the upcoming One UI updates, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. Could Apple really be getting close to launching its first foldable iPhone? Well, a new leak has just added more fuel to the fire, and this time, we're getting a closer look at the screen sizes, resolutions, and even some new camera technology that Apple might be planning for its foldable iPhone. If these details turn out to be true, this could be a big step forward for foldable phones. Let's start with the screens. According to a leak shared by Digital Chat Station, Apple's foldable will come with two displays. The main internal screen is said to measure 7.76 inches with a resolution of 2713 by 1920 pixels, which gives it a pixel density of 428 ppi. Now, if you compare that to the iPhone 16 Pro Max, which has around 460 ppi, the foldable screen is a bit lower, but still sharp, especially for a foldable phone. The outer cover display is expected to be 5.49 inches with a 2088 by 1422 resolution, and this screen hits 460 ppi, matching the sharpness of Apple's top devices. This size is actually close to the iPhone 13 mini, which also had a compact 5.4 inch display. That means the foldable iPhone could be small enough to carry comfortably when it's closed, something that might appeal to a lot of people who miss smaller phones. Now let's talk about the cameras. The leak claims the external display will use a punch hole camera cutout, likely something similar to the dynamic island we've already seen on newer iPhones. But the really interesting part is the internal screen. Instead of using a notch or a visible cutout, Apple might use under display camera technology. That means the camera would be hidden under the screen, giving users a full edge-to-edge -edge display with no interruptions. We've seen this kind of tech on some Android phones already, but Apple has always been very careful about when to use new technology. If they're going this route, it likely means the under-display camera is finally good enough to meet their high standards for image quality. 
Now, you might be wondering, why is Apple so late to the foldable game? Samsung has been leading with its Galaxy Z Fold series for years. Google has already released its foldable Pixel phone, and even OnePlus has joined in. Apple, on the other hand, has been quiet, but that's usually their way. They take their time, and they try to get everything just right before launching a new product. On paper, the specs for this rumored iPhone Fold might not seem groundbreaking, but Apple isn't just about specs, they're about smooth user experience, design, and software working together. If they can deliver a foldable with great performance, minimal creases, and strong durability, it could finally push foldables into the mainstream. And let's be honest, once Apple enters a market, things start to move. There's still no official word on when this foldable iPhone might be released, but some reports suggest 2026 or 2027 is possible. That gives Apple plenty of time to work out the final details. There's an exciting development on the horizon for the iPhone 17 lineup, and it could be a game changer. Apple might be pushing the boundaries of chip technology with the potential inclusion of a 2 in chip in some of the iPhone 17 models, which would significantly boost performance compared to the previous generation. This would give the iPhone 17 Pro, and possibly even one of the standard variants like the Air, a major advantage over other devices, including the highly anticipated Galaxy S25. Previously, the expectation was that all iPhone 17 models would be powered by chips built on TSMC's third generation 3 in process, and 3P. This was similar to what we saw with the iPhone 16, which uses TSMC's second generation 3 in and 3E e chips. While each new chip generation brings performance and efficiency improvements, these are often incremental. The real leap happens when Apple or any other tech company moves to a new process node entirely, which is where the 2 in chips come into play. According to a report from DigiTimes, TSMC is set to start mass production of 2 in chips later this year with Apple reportedly being the first to use this next-generation technology. The most exciting part of this news is that it may not just be the iPhone 17 Pro that gets this 2 in chip. Rumors suggest that one of the standard iPhone 17 variants, likely the Air model, could also feature this advanced technology. However, production of these 2 in chips is expected to be limited, meaning the base iPhone 17 will likely still rely on the 3 in chips due to supply constraints. The 2 in chips are said to be a huge step forward, with claims that they offer up to 15% faster speeds and a 30% increase in power efficiency compared to 3 in chips. This would make the iPhone 17 Pro, if equipped with a 2 in chip, a formidable device significantly outpacing the current crop of Android flagships like the Galaxy S25, which is expected to feature a 3 in chip. That's not to say the Galaxy S25 won't be impressive. Its 3 in chip will certainly bring performance and efficiency improvements but the leap from 3M to 2M could create a noticeable edge for the iPhone 17 Pro, especially in tasks that require a lot of processing power. However, it's important to approach this news with some caution. While DigiTimes has a track record for breaking certain industry news, their claims are not always 100% accurate, so it's best to take this information with a grain of salt. Apple has a history of keeping their upcoming products under wraps until they're ready for an official announcement, so there's always a chance that plans could change. Even without the potential 2 in chip, the iPhone 17 Pro is shaping up to be a major upgrade. Leaks and rumors suggest that Apple will introduce a new rear design with a camera bar reminiscent of Google's Pixel phones. This camera bar will reportedly house a 48MP periscope lens with 5x optical zoom, providing even better photography capabilities. Additionally, the iPhone 17 Pro is expected to come with iOS 19, offering a new set of features and improvements. While the idea of a 2 in chip is certainly exciting, it's important to keep in mind that performance improvements aren't just about raw speed. 